everyone, this is Oscar Ju18, aka Giovanni Huerta, and today we are doing another Pokemon Gym Battle video where I'm going up against another gym leader, and today we are taking on none other than the Ghost Gym Leader, aka the Phantom Michael. Now, let me tell you, this is gonna be such an amazing battle. I I'm kind of scared because this guy, if you guys have not been checking out my actual, like, ep uh, the previous episodes where I'm going against other trainers, I mean, other gym leaders like Phantom, you guys know that Phantom Michael has been the one that has been defeating me five times in a row, even though I have a strong team against him. Now, oh, okay, I was for a second thinking he doesn't have any items, but you know what? It's been such a long time since I played Sword and Shield that I don't even know, like, the interfaces was changed. Like, this one, for example, I'm, this is all new to me. I feel like a freaking noob because of all the updates that were released, and I'm not really quite familiar, which I really should look into the documentation, not gonna lie. So, alright. So, who should I lead off? Uh, double battles. Mm, not sure who I'm gonna actually lead off with these double battles because, again, I haven't Wi Fi battled in almost two months. Like the previous episode with the ground gym leader, I've recorded that literally like about a month or two months ago. And ever since then, I haven't Wi Fi battled in such a long time. So hopefully, this battle doesn't bite me in the butt. And by looking at it, bro, I am. Ugh, wish I brought the fire. Okay, whatever. Uh, I am only scared of a couple of Pokemon, and I will probably most likely lead up with the Presidio, and, you know what, actually, as a matter of fact, I'm just gonna go and lead off with these as my, my opening. They might not be the best for the opening, but, you know what, I gotta set up the rocks for chip damage, for chip damage no matter what, because... That Mimikyu is going to be the problematic of the whole entire team, aside from uh, Dreepy, who might actually be problematic. Now, I apologize for my commentary and being a little bit out of whack, but it's been, a, it's been a minute since I actually recorded an episode, not gonna lie. I tried to record the Isle of Armor DLC not too long ago, but hey, but hey, I just, <laughs> I just couldn't do it. It's just, I don't know, I just felt a little bit out of my niche, like a little bit out of my, like, my game. So hopefully this sword and shield battle can actually get me out of there. So let's go. So we are starting with a Dragapult and Delmai's opening. Now that's a little bit scary, not gonna lie. So either ways. Oh, I really wish I had the Haban Berry on Presidio. Damn. Uh he doesn't have the Haban Berry, so anything. Hmm. So chances are if uh, if you guys have not checked out the free for all um, battle video, definitely go ahead and check it out because uh, there's he might predict my protect and I don't know if I should do that. But either ways, I'm still gonna release the the stealth rock because that's gonna be playing a big role later on because Mimikyu is gonna be a pain in my arse and what, what's better? What's what's stronger? Okay. Flamethrower on Delmice. So I'm not gonna protect, even though I really should. Ah, oh, son of a gun. Son of a gun. Okay. Alright. So I don't know I don't know if it's me or it's been a while since I Wi-Fi battle, but aren't these like battle times getting faster? Or maybe that's just me, but oh well. Uh Gigamax Delmice. I don't know what I'm supposed to expect, but Ooh! Oh god. <laughs> uh, oh, Max Knuckle? Bro! Ah! Okay. Alright. Luckily, I don't, I don't even know what that is. Not gonna lie. Ooh. Citrus Berry coming in through. And let's go! I might not be able to take on another hit, so that. Yikes. Alright. So now with Presidio out of the way, hmm. Uh, now that Presidio managed to get the Stealth Rock up, I have to go no matter what for the Breaking Swipe. I don't know if this Dragapult. I don't know why I was calling it Dreepy. My bad. Uh, I don't know if this Dragapult 
is physical or special. So either ways, I'm going to go for the breaking swipe because I think the Max Knuckle raises attack. So I'm either way is going to go for that. But other than that, I pretty much have no other option. Because, mm, let me see. Let me look at his other Pokemon. Because his other Pokemon do have options. Uh, Actually, for the Gengar, he might actually be... Nah, I don't think so. I don't know if, I'm, if I'll, I'll definitely lead him, but... Hmm. Okay, wait, actually, you know what? I'm just gonna go for the... The... I can't go for Protect, so I'm just gonna go for the Delmice. So, hopefully, breaking... Oh, yep. Mmm, that... That... Yikes. <sighs> okay. Okay. Oh, damn. Damn, that... Oh god. I, I had to lower the tech. And he got the weakness policy, didn't he? Oh no. This is not good. This is not good. Can can Presidio take can you take a hit for your boy real quick? Alright, alright, cool, 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 cool. So I managed to stall out both. Oh alright. Presidio is a tanky boy, thankfully, so he managed to take that hit. So now, I have to send out my Scarf for no matter what now. I don't want to send my Scarf out, but that plus two is already a problem. And Tiamat won't be able to do anything as long as he's still in here. So let's go Hydra. And I'm pretty positive he does not want to keep this in. I am almost absolutely positive that he does not want the Dragon Pole. Even though Hydra definitely does is the answer for most of half of my team. Actually, he is basically the answer for... No, actually, no. Actually... I'm scared of the Gengar because I don't know what I got for Gengar, to be honest. Alright, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna go with it. And I'm gonna go... And go for the Breaking Sweat one more time. And my boy, you just gotta co you gotta KO this guy. Let's go. Alright. Dragapult seems like the immediate threat because it's already plus two. So I'm not gonna be dealing with a Dragapult. Now I just had to deal with a Mimikyu and that's pretty much it. Let's see if that's just enough. That's just enough to get me through. Uh, if that's special, I'm fricked. Oh, he actually took down the, the Presidio. Huh. Well. Well, that's news to me. Now that Presidio's out of the way, who has been doing the enough... Alright, damage. I love the Breaking Swipe. That's something kind of new. So, I don't know who I'm going to send out next. Uh, I want to say I want to bring out Tiamat, but Tiamat is still not in the room for an opening. So, as long as... You know what? Freak it. Because the only thing that has been walling him was that Delmice. But now that Delmice is out and about and I knew he would have sent off his Mimikyu anytime soon. So, this is very bad. Okay, so it's up to him how he wants to deal with the situation. He could either protect or on his Delmice or his Mimikyu can do some weird ass shenanigans that I don't even know about. So I'm gonna go ahead and go for the Iron Head. Well, actually, I'm just gonna go for the Fish's Run, just in general. And just try to do as much damage as I can on the Mimikyu. And Dalmize is just gonna go out with a bang. Boom. Bye bye, Dalmize. <laughs> Alright, Dalmize is out of the way, and now we just gotta deal with a Sword Stance Mimikyu. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> That's something. He's faster than Tiamat. He's way faster than Tiamat. So, um, I'm pretty sure the Phantom Michael already knows that I'm not Choice Guard, but Choice Bandit, hopefully. Because if he does not know that, then I, he's practically in trouble. So I know Mimikyu is going to be very problematic, and I'm pretty sure he's not faster than... Uh, he might be, honestly. He might be. 
Uh, Fishes Ren. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah, I'm gonna go for the Fishes Ren on Mimikyu. And then go for the Dark Pulse on... Actually, Mimikyu is really problematic and I'm Choice Bandit either way, so I might as well just go for that. Alright, I really don't- I can't do much. Alright, Corsola. On who? Oh, God. Mm-hmm. So hopefully the Choice Bandit can do the job. Can I do the job? Fish is Ren. Yep. Fish is Ren. Choice Bandit. Yeah, you're gone. You're gone. All right, now that it's now that it's pretty much Will O Wisp. Thankfully, I was fast enough that I could take down the BMQ. Now, uh, Time Out is pretty pretty much useless. Oh, not a hundred percent though. Not a hundred percent. Let's see. Can I throw anything at this guy? Mm -hmm. So, if I remember correctly, he still has the Gengar around. Yeah, he actually does still have that Gengar around. That's nothing to be playing around with. So, hmm. I am down to my last two Pokemon, unfortunately, and I really can't do much. So, I have to bring in Fafnir, and hopefully Fafnir can do the damage that I need him to do. There's still guys up in the road, and honestly, I am kind of still scared of what he's capable of doing. Hmm. Okay. So, I'm basically pretty much gonna... Ooh, I forgot. I'm an idiot. All right, Fish's Range, anyone, and I'm try. I'm gonna try to kill off. Wait, I'm not. I'm not choice bandit, am I? Huh. All right. If I outrage, who do I outrage to? Oh, I'm just gonna outrage someone. So I'm just gonna earthquake and go for it. Yep. All right. Fafnir, you're gonna earthquake everybody. Damn, I'm, I'm not gonna be able to do enough damage. Ooh, that clutched it. That clutched it. I didn't think the Fisher's Ren was gonna do that much damage. Whew. All right, we are down to the very last wire, I think. I wanna say. Mm, I know I haven't been playing the best of moves, but I kind of have to now. Hmm. So, Earthquake is definitely a must on whoever. So, I'm going to go ahead and Earthquake. It's, it's no questions. No questions asked. Just do the work. Dazzling Gleam is going to do a lot of work. Urgh, tell you what. Alright. That's very worrisome. Hopefully I'm faster. Yes, I am. And I almost took down the poultry guys as well. Look at that. Weak armor. Depending on what he's got. Depending on what he's got. I think I should be GG'd. Gengar is done for. Is that the last Pokemon? Oh, Psychic. Oh, can you take a hit, Fafnir? Oh, wow. Now it's down to 1v1. Ooh, this is a very close match. Now it's up to Diane, my girl Diane, to take the floor. And this is, you know, this is kind of ironic. This is my most favorite Pokemon, and I leave the best for last. So we're down to 1v1. Now, honestly, I'm not one to say that I got this in the back because, you know what? Anything can happen in a Pokemon match. It's not over until the last move is called and that other player's Pokemon is dead. And that's pretty much how it rolls. So I'm gonna go ahead and give them a little bit of my G-Max depletion. Let's go. G-Max depletion. Let's go, baby. You shot out your G-Max. Here's my G-Max, boy. Shaw, tell me what you got, boy. Tell me, tell me, tell me what you got. Tell me, tell me what you got. Hey, 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 hey. Yo, what up, brother? Yo, what up? Take this G-Max like a man. Alright, honestly, this double battle was so much fun, whether I win or lose. Oh, ah! Yo, this, this is amazing. This was an amazing battle. And, alright, poach guys, 
GG, man, GG. <laughs> oh my god, that was a very close match, and honestly, I don't know how that could have played out, honestly. I wonder if he, in the first turn, I'll probably ask him how he thought about, if he thought I was going to go and use Protect or something. But anyways, here's my lead card, my boy. Boom! Let's quit. And also, Phantom Michael, wonderful battle, and I'll see you in the after credits. Yo, what up, Phantom what? Michael? Bro. What's up, buddy? Bro, how you like that, L? How you Give like me one I you like that out? How I like that out. That was clutch, not gonna lie. <laughs> that freaking, I had not, to be honest with you, I had literally nothing for Duraldon. Nothing. <laughs> really? I didn't have anything, dude. Like, I had nothing, I had nothing to hit you with fire. I had nothing, uh, Delmise was my only, um, fighting type, uh, hit. That was it, dude. Like, you had the whole thing right there. And I, it, what was messed up was I was like, oh, dude, I'm doing pretty good, man. Like, I was like, oh, man, uh -huh. we're doing pretty good. We're in good shape. And then it hit me. I was like, oh, my God, I forgot about Duraldon. Oh, rip, it's <laughs> over. I think I said, I literally said, um, the minute, the minute that uh, Mimikyu went out, right? And then Mimikyu took out Hydra. Yeah. I was like, I was like, dude, oh, we're good. We're good. And then I was like, oh, my God, I forgot about Duraldon. Rip, it's over. Geo's won because I got nothing for it. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, Gengar and uh, Gengar and oh my gosh, uh, Pulte guys. And I was like, okay, this is this is gonna be it right here. Dazzling Limb goes off, Haxorus survives, and I'm like, if Pulte guys is faster than Haxorus, I know. I chance. was so worried about he that. Was not. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's see, even though though I was choice scarf, um, and uh, I choice scarf myself into Dazzling Gleam, and mm -hmm. that was a rip anyway because. If I wouldn't have choice scarfed uh, Dazzling Gleam, um, you would have survived. Because I was going to swing for um, uh -huh. the Dracovish. That was the main plan. Get rid of Dracovish. Worry about Haxorus later. But had I done like Shadow Ball or something, you know, Haxorus still would have O-Code me with EQ anyway. So Since we're on the course little battle, right? Dude, for a second, I was so scared when uh, Haxorus just launched the Earthquake. And your course basically took nothing and then i'm just like i i need i need oh wait, uh, i need um the fish's wren to come through right yeah it came through i was like it was already burned <laughs> and it was choice yep. banded it was choice banded by the way and i was just like that oh. was uh -huh. i was gonna say man i the minute that i seen your team i was like oh my gosh corsola was like the worst idea i was like oh my god i should have stuck with sableye should have kept sableye on there i could have done some confusion shenanigans and then maybe had some good stuff Mm -hmm. But uh, I brought the uh, Galarian Corsola. Didn't even its strategy is set up stealth rocks. Mm -hmm. But the minute I seen your team, I was like, dude, I have to go Delmize Dragapult and just boost up Dragapult. And you know it worked out. You know you you led with Drampa, you led with um, Kamo, and I was like, okay, we're in a pretty good spot right now. Uh huh. And then uh, you know it just it just did not play in my favor. Wait That's for the opening my... segment. Did you think I was gonna use Protect on Drampa? That's my biggest question. Did you think I was gonna go Protect? I thought you were going to go protect Dragapult first turn, mm -hmm. um, but that's not why I uh, Dynamax first turn. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I'm good either way. If he protects, I'm good. If he um, if he protects, I'll, I'll be in good shape because he's still going to take this uh, G-Max Knuckle. Mm -hmm. um, I knew I was going to protect with Dragapult because uh -huh. that's that's my strat, protect with Dragapult, get the boost. And then next turn, you know, I would have swung with Dragon Darts like I did. And then mm -hmm. you would have hit me with something, and then I would, my weakness policy drops, get the extra boost. But that uh, breaking, what was it, the breakneck swipe? Breaking yeah, breaking swipe, swipe boy. That right there. <laughs> I that move the deal. right there, man. Knocking, knock, dropping my stats, man. Dropping my physical attack stat. I was like, okay, now we're in some trouble because now we're, you know, we're going backwards. Not the way that we want to go for a sweep. Wait, so Delmise was, like, okay, was physical, right? Was a physical set. Uh, yeah, Delmize, Delmize is physical. Yep. <laughs> so that breaking swipe twice definitely mattered for Presidio to take a hit. Komomo, I mean. Komomo to yeah. take on a hit. And oh my god, and when you brought it in, uh, Mimikyu. Mimikyu and Dragapult were my main problems. Like, they were my main priorities throughout the whole battle. Yep. Because I, I, uh, I knew once I could get rid of those two Pokemon, the rest is just going to be me just being strategic about it. 
But other than that, I was just like, I gotta take on the Dragon Ball. It's already plus two. Mimikyu mm -hmm. is trying to sword dance here on my face. And mm -hmm. I was like, I gotta assess the threat. And then you bring in the Corsola. I'm like, bro, that's too much at once. I can't take it all at once. But luckily, I, I'm so happy that you went over over uh you went over for the high dragon instead of the Tiamat, my Dracovish. I am so happy you went for that instead. <laughs> Cause that pretty much yep. that See, pretty much sealed the deal for you. The uh the Dracovish Dark or the uh, Hydra Dark Pulse would have done a lot of work too. Don't get me wrong. The reason why I chose uh Hydra over Dracofish in that point mm -hmm. was that he was already burned. So I was like, okay, if he's burned, I'm gonna be good later. Cause I knew you weren't be able to kill Corsola that first turn, you know? Mm -hmm. I was like, yeah. Corsola's gonna be able to tank it. So I burned you in hopes that okay, next turn I'm either gonna sap sip you or I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, drop a hex on you. Mm -hmm. But whenever you got your next mon out, I, it was it was wraps for Corsola anyway. But mm -hmm. Mimikyu hitting you with that um Mimikyu go ahead and swing in for that Hydra. I yeah. just thought at the moment, I was like, man, Gengar is gonna come out and I don't know if uh I didn't know how bulky Hydra was going to be, to be mm -hmm. honest. I was not, like, the minute that I clicked it, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm not confident enough that this right here is going to kill um, Hydra in one hit. And it did, and I was like, oh my gosh, I was shocked. Literally shocked. <laughs> Dude, throughout that whole entire battle, I was just having so much suspense, because, honestly, I haven't Wi-Fi battled in over a month, and I was kind of nervous going into this battle. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we, was... got, we got eight points now, or eight of... Eight characters now so there's that out of all the gym leaders you're by far the one that i've been the closest right next to the previous uh the ground gym leader kyogre dude that one make me run for the money that that was a battle have you checked it out i of course man i watched every one of your battles man Whew. damn i i got checked by that right period and then the fact that you're about to do that with mimikyu i was like no thank you <laughs> no thank uh, I thought you were gonna go for like a shadow sneak plus <laughs> two, and I was like, nah, I don't want those shenanigans for Darilladon. I don't want those shenanigans. Bye. Get get out of my screen. Get out of my screen. Fishes run. Get out. Get out. That that that's it. You should uh, you should hit up the uh, water type gym leader next. Uh, Costa Rica. Definitely haven't taken him. Yeah, cue the Costa Rican. I still he's, he's clutch, man. Alrighty, Phantom Michael. It was a. Uh... A very great pleasure talking to you, especially with this battle and everything. Do you got any last words? It was uh, an absolute pleasure, Geo. You finally got a W off of me, which, you know, interesting. That's so, very uh, legendary from me. <laughs> we, what is it? What has it been now? Three. What is it? I've won two. You've won one. I think that's what our, our score is right now. No, our, our score is you've won three and I've won six. That, that's just the score because one win for me is three W's. All right. We'll leave it at that. All right. Bye, everyone. Peace. Okay, peace. 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 Bye. Okay. <laughs> Deuces. Have peace. a good one, everyone. <laughs>